Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 for another week in the lovely United Kingdom. Except it isn't. Unfortunately, there's no new car in Forza Horizon 4 this week, but regardless, here's the Forza-thon shop and the Horizon backstage. Shout out the Shelby GT500. You should definitely pick that up. Super good car, not biased at all. Anyways though, today I wanted to try out something a little bit different because as we've been getting more and more Forza Horizon 5 rumors over the last little while, and we already know that Forza Motorsport is on the horizon. Today, I wanted to take a look back to Forza Horizon 4 and talk about some of the things that I would like to see improved. Essentially, how Forza Horizon 4 could have been better. I want to know if you could change one thing for Forza Horizon 4. What would it be? Would it be adding a very specific car? Maybe a new element to the map? Or maybe just a gameplay feature all around? Let me know in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's jump in to how Forza Horizon 4 could have been better. And let's start it off with the number one gameplay element, unlocking new cars. Unlocking new cars every single month as a part of the monthly updates are an amazing idea. I doubt Forza Horizon 4 would have been as nearly as successful as it has been without it. But I think we can all agree after we've all got in and unlocked a new car by achieving 50% in the season or by banging out a season event for what feels like the hundredth time, it gets a little bit boring and a little bit tedious regardless of what the new car is. Now that's not to say that Forza Horizon 4 hasn't had some amazing ways of unlocking cars. For example, the skill tree. You probably forgot this was even a feature in the game because it hasn't been used for so long. Or what about going in and doing an online trial with fellow members of the community where you had to race together and win together to unlock a car together it was super cool. Or what about even methods from Forza games of the past where you just got gifted a car by Forza themselves. One thing I would definitely like to have seen improved for Forza Horizon 4 would have been unlocking cars in more unique and interesting ways. For example, what about the Horizon Backstage? We got this awesome feature added into the game. I've been collecting backstage passes ever since it got added. However, I haven't actually used one because there's no new cars in there. Or what about something similar to the Crew 2, for example? You've already got these monthly online rivals where you have to go in and set a fast lap time around a circuit. Say, for example, one month Forza Horizon 4 had a car where they want it to be for pretty much everybody. Say the fastest 90% of people who go onto that monthly rival time and set a time will unlock the car. Say one month they want it to be a little bit more rare, the car, you only give it to the top 50% of fastest people. Or say you have one month and you want a super, super rare car, you give it to the top 10% of fast player. Not only would you encourage players to come back to the game every single month to set a lap time and unlock a new car, but you're also encouraging players to just be genuinely better at the game. And I think for a game like Forza Horizon, that, that's not a bad thing. And that actually leads perfectly into my next point, which is the Eliminator. As you've probably been able to tell, I absolutely love the Eliminator, but I think we can all agree again, we would love to see it expanded upon a little bit further. For example, what about rewarding people who win the Eliminator with an exclusive car or even finish in the top 10? Not to mention, I'd also love to see other things like car skins or special perks and so on. I've actually made an entire video on things I'd like to see in the Eliminator a really, really long time ago, so if you missed that video, I'll link to it in the description down below and you can check it out after this one. Anyways though, I feel like that's enough about the gameplay. Why don't we talk about the cars themselves? Obviously, I could list thousands upon thousands of cars I would love to see in Forza Horizon 4. That's not what I'm gonna do. Okay, yes it is, a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, an updated Audi, BMW, and Mercedes lineup, and even a Dakar truck, wink wink. No lie, I've actually really enjoyed the little additions to the Forza Horizon 4 upgrade system over the life of the game, but obviously we can expand upon that even more. <laughs> oh, what about custom brake caliper colors? It can't be that difficult, right? You want something even more basic? What about painting your front tires and your rear tires 
different colors. We know games like Need for Speed allows us to do it, so why, why, why can't we in Forza? I think that's enough about the cars. Like I said, I could talk about that for days. That's not what I'm gonna do. Let's jump over to the fundamentals of Forza Horizon 4. What makes Forza Horizon 4? Forza Horizon 4. Again, I feel like it's something we can all agree on when I say seasons plays a huge part of this game. Every other aspect actually revolves around seasons and it makes a lot of sense. Driving in every single season is super fun. However, I feel like when I wanna play in the summer, I should be able to play in the summer. It's almost like it artificially limits what we're able to do in the game as well. For example, you might've seen this video where we played hide and seek on the frozen lake in Forza Horizon 4. I actually had this video on my calendar for months, but I wasn't able to film it until recently because when it was winter in the game, I was either busy doing something else or just out and I, I wasn't able to film this video on another week because it wasn't the winter and it limited when we were able to play this game and it actually delayed us by like two months. The same can be said if you like taking photos. Say you wanna go and take some photos with your friends online and you wanna do it in a winter snowstorm and it's the middle of summer, well, you've gotta come back to the game in, in two weeks. Even though you and your friend are both online ready to go, you, you, you've got to wait two weeks to do it. I'm not really sure how Forts would implement us being able to choose our season, time of day, our weather, or even if traffic was on or off. All I know is that being limited by the game is super annoying. I also briefly wanted to talk about Forza Horizon 4's story, because as you might have seen, I recently jumped into the game on Steam since it dropped, and it kind of reminded me of how much of a lack of a story that this game actually had. I feel like Forza Horizon 1, 2, 3 all had bigger goals in mind, whether that was taking down one of your rivals or building up all of the festival sites. They all had like bigger goals in mind and for forza horizon 4 you you don't really have one obviously i'm not asking for a need for speed-esque story no no far from it i do like the idea of going through the game and know you're working towards something a bit bigger at the end speaking of older forza games i did want to mention one more thing i would like to see improved for this game that was actually in Forza Horizon 3, but then not in Horizon 4? You remember the midnight battles, how much fun those were, and how they were actually pink slip races? How you had to go up against a rival, beat that rival, and you would win their car? That was super, super cool. I would love to see stuff like that back for Forza Horizon 4. It was so much fun, so intense going into these midnight battles, knowing that these races were harder than usual, but if you won, you got that super exclusive car. It was so much fun, and I wish they were in this game. Okay, I lied. That wasn't actually the last thing I wanna see improved. I feel like something people really wanna see in this game, or I should say here in this game is better car sounds. For, for example, I don't know if you ever stood next to like any V12 powered car in real life, but those like shake your chest like literally and you don't really get the same experience in the game. So there you go. Those are some of the things that I would have liked to have seen improved for Forza Horizon 4 or maybe implemented into a future game. Wink, wink. The rumor right now is that Forza Horizon 5 is going to be getting confirmed at E3. Right now, we don't even know if it's real or not, so we will have to see. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with everything Forza Horizon related. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!